You know, art, painting, sculpting, carving, whatever you're doing, there's a whole bunch of different ways to go about it. You know, you can try and do realism, you can try and do like real people, you can try and do real bears, you can try and do real goats, you can try and do real pigs, real fish, real whatever you want to do. But some of us aren't realism carvers. I'm not a good enough artist to be a realism carver. I'm sure if I tried I could possibly do it, but I just really don't care. This is a piece of grapevine burl. It's a little, it's a little one. My buddy Stu's got um, bigger ones, like a lot. We're talking like big grapevine burls, like up to here and round and stuff, and all twisty. I've had this. He gave this piece to me a few years ago. You can see here, it's like bird's eye. There was a spit test. But look at that wood grain in there. That's like bird's eye. So this is all bird's eye here. So uh, this might be a good project for the kids. You know, like you find a piece of wood and you try and figure what figure something to carve on that weird twisty piece of wood. I kind of see like I kind of see like a baby dragon head, head here. You know, there is a crack right there. Well, it's not crack. It's more bark. So I'm learning when you carve these burls, that bark might go way inside deep there. So the first thing I'm going to do is carve that bark out and see how deep it goes inside. Because if it goes super deep inside, everything changes. Everything changes. See, you got sticks here. Those would be the grapevine things coming out of the ground. You got one here. You got one here. It's just a real unique piece of wood. And I know that's from sanding this, it's not that soft. It's pretty hard. So you got another stick thing on the bottom there. It's just whatever you want to do. So I, I like, you know, I could carve a face here if I wanted to. I think... You know, I could carve lots of stuff on this. I could carve a, I could carve a face here with a big nose going down. But I think this is probably the best. Like, what could I carve here when it's sitting this way? I could carve whatever I want. I could carve a big nose with a burl, a burl nose, and just kind of things. But I don't want this to be too complicated. I don't even know if this is going to turn on. I don't even know if any of my carvings turn on. I just really don't care. I just have fun. Like I say in most of my videos, I'm that fat guy with the hole in his head having a good time. What other channels do and what other channels say has nothing to do with me. I just kind of do me, right? We're curving fusion here. We have a good time. Don't stress about the small stuff and just fucking curve it. Carve deeper. <laughs> yeah, that's what we do. Carve deeper. Always. As soon as this burr touches that wood, just a little bit, just that quick. You're carving deeper. So let's carve deeper. So before I get too carried away here, like I kind of see an eye ridge here, right where that bark is. You know, I could carve deeper below that um, bark line. Can try and if it, it does go far back, I can hide it underneath the eyebrow. This could be a dragon's horn. This could be like a side view dragon's horn, kind of a spike coming out. I see a bottom lip here. You know, it, like, 100% everybody, there's a very good chance that this isn't going to work out. But, 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 it doesn't matter if it doesn't work out. Because when I'm trying to make it work out and it doesn't work out, I'm having a good time. And that's the same with you guys, too. Just have a good time because that's the most important thing. It's art. It's supposed to be fun. I'm just going to drink some more coffee. Then um, we'll get to it. Put the camera in the overhead. So I don't know if I just called this a burl on the beginning of the video, but it's a it, what this is is a grapevine root, right? This piece would have been out a root ball. This would have been underground, and all your things come out. Just to clarify that, sometimes I just need to clarify things. All right, we'll present today's video with the uh, Orange Ben Studio in the Lake Pen. Ben suggests not to use um, orange pens. I forget the reason why, but uh, yeah, only strictly black pens. Just kidding. Okay, so we got um, we got this here. Let's see what we got going on here. So, our um, this is a 
like I, I haven't carved very many dragons. This is, might be a cute one. It might be a scary one. I don't know. I'm just going to see. And I know this is hard wood, like I've already said, repeat. So there will be his, his um, eyebrow in line. And well, well, I just don't know. Just start carving and then that's when you start carving. Your mind will open up. You know, I might even have, you got to see how much depth you have too. I got lots of depth. Even up here, like, um, do I want to carve most of this w away to get this little stick horn to pop off more? Because if I do that, then I'm going to have to draw the, the eye, drop the eyebrow lines. It's just about you coming to your own conclusions, right? Here's kind of like a, I can see like a bark line inside there too. So we'll try and use that as our lip and it looks happy. So just whatever, whatever you come up with this is, is good. It's awesome because the bottom line, you're freaking having fun. Love the orange pen. Yeah, it shows great. Okay, so I am going to start off here. It comes with my Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr. This is my go-to burr. I love this burr because it's got the sharp the sh tip on there. Then it's got the burr th when, you, when you hold it sideways. So you can do shallow, car kind of shallow carving, not that shallow, but... Or you can do re remove a lot of bulk when it's on side this way. Um, so let's get um, the camera up a little bit higher and um, just start carving. Three, two, one, ignite the fan. All right, so let's just uh, start up here underneath the brows. See, I'm following that bark down there. Okay, so I'll just call this a burl in this video. So even though it's root, you can see the bark goes, it still goes deep inside there. So now I'm going to look at it in the back and you just don't know what, what's going to happen, right? To, because if you got that bark in there, how are you going to carve a detail eye? So. So also, you know that you're carving a hard wood because these burrs are burnishing the wood at the same time, meaning they're burning the wood at the same time. So, and this is a pretty, pretty well new, brand new Cotsol Extreme Flame Burr. These ones are aggressive. So I think with, I think within here, I'm going to take out Make, I want to make this stick pop off more so you know once again carve deeper inside here to remove that um, that stick um, Kevin over there made it uh, sticks and stones made a good point um, on his last video where he is doing a uh, wood spirit for the giveaway thanks so much for that Kev but he says you know sometimes you don't you don't always want to carve too deep because it could distort your piece or something like that so you know, when I say carve deeper, I mean like anything to do with wood carving, in my opinion, is carving deeper. But sometimes you don't want to carve too deep because it, it might ruin the look what you're going for. So. But it was a valid, it was a valid um, point that he made. Just slowly cut and remove.
just keep on removing the wood. Let the burl do the work. I mean, uh, let, let the bit do the work. I'm going to switch up bits here. I got this uh, aluminum cut, not the aluminum cutter, but I got this bit. This is one of those three, three trial cutters you get from China. They get dull super sharp, super fast. Uh, I'm sorry my words aren't always correct today. But um, let me see if I can find a sharp one. Because maybe we can get under that um, a lot better with, with one of these burrs here. Okay, so I got the new burr on. This one seems pretty new. It's smaller. These come in all different sizes, right? You get like sets of five or ten of them. But this one seems pretty sharp, so let's see if it does the trick. Look at that. Cuts like butter underneath there. Whoa, see that? That was a big, big thing of uh, uh, friggin' bark. I'm just trying to separate this from the carving. There goes a big piece of bark. So I'm going to keep using this, this bit for a while to remove some wood because there's no grain in here. It's just like, like bird's eye burl. There's no, there's no layers. Let's get rid of all this bark here. That's what we'll do. See, look at that. Look how deep it goes inside there. Like that other big burl that I'm working on, that other big burl that I'm working on right now, I showed it on a video. I said on one of those videos, when I'm, next time I do a burl, I'm going to find all the bark pockets and dig those out first before I do any carving. Because once you take those bark pockets out, you know what's going on with the piece and everything's solid, right? So I see a bark pocket here. See that? See how easy that went in there? See this? All down here. And everything's just my opinion too, everybody. So this bark pocket underneath the eye here. See that? Okay, we got some uh, down in here around this stick. You should be you should be able to feel how easy it goes in there with the bark, right? This this piece is already getting dull. Okay, I think we're safe with the, uh, well, get it all out, get it all out of there. Now things change. But I think we're okay, I think we're still on course. And since this is a beginning video, it's good to have lighting. You see, I got this light here. I can move it around. Better lighting so you can see, see what's going on with your piece. You can just move it around to wherever you want. I got a light coming from this side and this side. Okay, so like I was saying before, this is my first time ever carving a grapevine root or any kind of grapevine. Just carved Rob pointed out. I showed him this before I started carving. He pointed out that looks like a finger. And he does, it does. Look at it. It looks like a finger. It's like, ah, come here. <laughs> this is total fantasy piece. And you got what's exciting about this is well, I've never carved the wood before, so I get to see the colors and the different textures in it. I when I'm taking a, away the root hole, the bark holes and everything's moving around in different shapes and stuff different things come out like I see this 
that that see that knot there right in the center of the screen? I see kind of like a cat head kind of with the horn coming off his head and there might be his ear. It's just having fun and seeing different things in the wood. That's what this is about. Like I, I can't say it enough about having a good time. This doesn't look like a dragon, but whatever it turns out to be, that's what it is. It's fantasy, right? You know, this could be a shoulder coming off here. You know, I could, this up here could be like a duck head or a friggin' alligator head or whatever you want it to be. You can see that bark hole just keeps going deep inside there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to carve it out, so I had to stop there. You can see the depth from the side. And when you're working on a piece like this, because I'm only going to carve this side, I'm not going to get into carving this side too. Sometimes you have to remove the back wood to make things elevate from the front right so you see here i got a deep channel carved i'm gonna have to remove all this wood so you just see this 2d thing so it's just about experimenting trying new types of wood and um just having fun so i think what i'm going to do now is um see that bark line goes all across there with this um cat thing whatever it is i was going to carve that out and carve some teeth into there but maybe i can remove this wood and carve teeth up in here just like i don't know silly pointy little teeth so i think i'll do that off camera so i can listen to my music and um put my dust mask on and just have a good time turns out it does doesn't don't really care it's a free piece of wood so doing a piece like this you got to kind of open up your imagination and just let it go you can see things have changed now he's got a eagle beak He's got some teeth in there. I'm just starting to carve in teeth and stuff. They're, these are nothing fancy, but they say what they are. It's very basic, I know. But I don't want to spend much more time on this. There's your finger, Rob. <laughs> Come here. Let's see what we got over here. Imagination, friends. Just open it. Have fun. See, he's got a tongue in there. He's got teeth. This is super hard wood. You can see the, the where it's shiny there, those shiny spots. That's just from the sandpaper. I'm, this is my favorite carving to do. This is where I have the most fun. I know I could carve cool dragon scales and stuff in here and texture lines and stuff and give it some more character. I don't care. I, I, that's not what this piece is about. This is a piece is about exploring, carving a new piece of wood. And we'll give it a water test in a little bit here and um, see what kind of textures this wood has. Look at all the different colors in here. Like white, dark red, brown, kind of blackish and stuff. You know, it's, let's do a close up of here. There's the bottom. And here's up here. This eye, I was thinking about putting some uh, albacore shell in there, but it's okay. It is what it is, but I'm not done yet. Big L, I haven't seen you comment lately. Don't know if you're watching my videos. Sometimes we all get sick and tired of things and stuff. We need to move on, but I'm going to do a carbon fusion upgrade on this. Three, two, one, carbon fusion upgrade. I'm going to pretty soon start breaking out into doing dragons. when I'm ready to. There's the carving fusion upgrade. A deer antler. So it'll kind of be like that. It doesn't really fit too much in with this one, but again, what like what is this one anyway? So I, I kind of made it look like, like this looks like his shoulder. So there's a little kind of arm around with a little dragon hook spike finger thing so that's it yeah i like i like this guy so this just goes to show you you know like when you're starting carving your mind so i started here on this basic one and then like this isn't fantastic but i think it's neat um your mind does my when i started here my mind didn't really open up till i started doing here so you know what a stagnant stagnant mind has no movement that's what i was kind of thinking when i did this see i had to carve lots back behind it too 
A stagnant mind has no movement. Now let's give this a water test. Oops, that's my coffee cup. Water test will give you the colors because I don't have any spray clear here, which I'm going to spray it. Um, it will show us the colors in the piece. Oh, look at that. Nice color. Look at that. Yeah. And like I said, my buddy Stu, I messaged him last night and asked him, because I've been carving that other big burl, I asked him last night if um, I enjoy carving this this um, grape grapevine root, would he barter with one of his bigger pieces? And I'll show you guys some pictures right now of his bigger pieces. And he said, yeah, we could figure something out. But look at that. There's bird's eye right there. I don't think, I'm not a wood ex scientist or expert, but I don't think you get much solar nice bird's eye than that. And then you even got it deeper in here too. All the different colors. So what do you guys think? You think I should get his bigger, um, one of his bigger pieces and carve it? I think so. It's going to be a total, this is nothing but fantasy. Nothing but fantasy. Okay, so everybody, hope this helps you to um, open your mind, have fun, be creative. I'll sign the bottom of this, and I'll um, we'll sign it wherever it's dry. Carry on. We'll leave it right here. That's the best view right there. Carbon Fusion. Over and out. You know, I was just editing this video, and I said to myself, well, that guy looks pretty cool. I could do more stuff, but when I was working on this, I don't want to take too much away from the, the grain, the bird's eye. But you know, when you look at that, when you look at this, that's got a fair amount of a little bit of detail in there. Then you look at this and there's really not too much detail. So I think I'm going to um, do some bigger details on this. Who knows? I might even carve this into be like a little dinosaur egg down here. And this could be the papa. This could be the mama. Who knows? I'll carve some teeth into the bottom here. I still got more depth. Um, I'll show you guys what I decide to do on a later video, but I'm going to start, I'm going to finish this up tomorrow and carve more stuff in here. I might even take this finger off and make it look like a, a dragon spike coming from the face, right? But then again, if I took that finger off, uh, just carve Rob might not be too happy.